Well, we create the economic opportunity. I mean, it really is simple. But the hard part is we can't just keep talking about it. There comes a time we have to do it. You know, our party has always been a party of solutions ever since I knew our party. I was blessed to be born in 1970, which means the first president I knew was Ronald Reagan. And I saw the Berlin Wall come down without firing a shot. I saw an economy go from waiting in lines at the gas station to one of economic prosperity. But most of you here never saw that. You never experienced it. You don't know what a party can do. And right now we're all allowed to talk. You know, there's a reason why I went to Estonia to see if I could find solutions for coal in Southwest Virginia. There's a reason why I went to MIT to see if we can find innovative solutions for technology to bring back to Virginia. You see, if we want to make sure that this is a place where students not only are raised, but also go to school and also come back to the be with their family after, after they graduate and raise their own family, we have to provide that economic opportunity. And that's our job right now, to make sure that those jobs exist. And not by taking a job from North Carolina and bringing it here with incentives, where we know that they're going to leave after those incentives run out, but by bringing innovation here, where we can capitalize on it, where it becomes native to Virginia, and drives other companies to be here so we can all live here, work here, play here, but most importantly, raise our next families here. Well, to address the issue of millennials moving into the cities, uh, I would just tell you that economic development is huge, especially in our cities and revitalizing those cities. And really the reality is this, uh, and I'm gonna speak about all of them, but I don't think they all need 30 seconds. We're, we might be the next leaders for right now, but you all are the next leaders for the next generation. And what the best thing I can do as your lieutenant governor is get government out of your way and get those restrictions out to allow you the development uh, and freedom that you need to create that uh, opportunities for the generation that comes after you. Because I have a 13 year old too, and you all are gonna be old people for them, <laughs> right? But here's the thing, I'll leave you guys with this, and I firmly believe with all my heart, and one of the greatest presidents in my lifetime was Ronald Reagan as well. And I got to vote for him the very first time when I turned 18. He said this, that we have the opportunity to stand for something in this country, for freedom, for fairness, and for liberty, liberty. And that these are the things we're fighting for and we're devoting our very lives to. That's what I've been doing the majority of my adult life is working to secure and protect not only this nation and this commonwealth, but that of you all and your families. I've served in the armed forces, I've served as a police officer, and I serve as your senator now. I want to serve as your next lieutenant governor because you're not going to find anybody that's going to outwork those.